I call the honourable member for <coughs> Greenland. Thanks, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I join with uh, the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition in moving this, in supporting this condolence of my friend and comrade uh, Tom Uren. Uh, Tom Uren saw deprivation in his early years and then the worst of humanity. Born into the Depression in 1921, uh, he left school at the age of 13 because his father couldn't get employment. Uh, he was a great sportsman. Uh, he represented uh, Manly, unfortunately, uh, in rugby league. Uh, but he also fought for the Australian Heavyweight Boxing Championship. He was also a surf life saving champion at Freshwater. He had uh, a lot to look forward to. And then, of course, World War II intervened. And he put his nation before himself. And like so many other uh, young men and women of that time, uh, enlisted. Uh, went to Timor, was captured. He served in Timor, Singapore, the Burma Siam Railway and Japan as a prisoner of war of the Japanese. Uh, those people who read uh, Richard Flanagan's uh, extraordinary book uh, would read it as I did and you just wonder how uh, these uh, men uh, came through uh, that process uh, without being bitter about uh, the world and their place in it. Uh, he was an extraordinary man. Uh, if uh, he can be characterised by anything, it is his faith in humanity and in his fellow man. He came through that process with a love and used to speak about, unusually for a man, uh, speak about his love for people, and it was genuine. And he received love in spades in return. Uh, he was, in my view, the most significant grassroots campaigner in the history of the Australian Labor Party, given the longevity, uh, the, the issues, but uh, the anti-Vietnam War moratoriums, which he and Jim Cairns led, uh, his role on uh, the environment, well ahead of the pack, well ahead of the uh, intelligentsia. He understood a love for our natural and our built environment. Uh, whether it be issues of justice for defence forces. And he was very proud that his last victory, uh, he convinced uh, Prime Minister Gillard to grant justice to pris the surviving former prisoners of war of, uh, of the Japanese, and that occurred uh, in uh, 2012. Uh, he uh, has a tremendous legacy that he leaves. The greening of Western Sydney, uh, sewerage, uh, for people in our outer suburban communities. Uh, the first significant investment in public transport by a national government. The uh, Australian Heritage Commission, the register of the national estate, the saving of the Sydney Harbour foreshores. Uh, wherever you look around this country, particularly in our outer suburbs and our regional cities, uh, Tom Uren leaves a legacy of which he and his family can indeed be proud as both a minister in the Whitlam government and a minister in the Hawke government. When he was nominated for the Companion of the Order of Australia, uh, I uh, contacted uh, Tony Abbott, the then Leader of the Opposition, and uh, told him, uh, as I told Bob Brown, the Leader of the Australian Greens, that uh, Prime Minister Gillard was supporting that nomination. All three of them uh, enthusiastically and genuinely uh, supported uh, that nomination. He was someone who, in the noise of politics and conflict and uh, petty squabbles that goes on, he soared above the political landscape in this building and out there in the community. And uh, to Christine and Ruby and Michael and Heather and uh, all of his family, I pass uh, my condolences uh, to you and to... Uh, to uh, Today is a very historical event. I think it was wonderful to see Sir John Carrick, at, uh, a good comrade of uh, Tom, uh, as a prisoner of war. Both of them led uh, parallel lives, different political viewpoints, but both people who I think those of us who have come after them owe, us, uh, owe them uh, eternal respect for what they did for our nation. Yeah.